Welcome to Frost Astrophotography and this part 15 of my miniature home observatory build. In this video I will finish the interior of the observatory as well as conduits and uh, preparations for future installation of uh, cables and electronics.
I obviously had a joist or stud sticking out here that is holding the uh, gear rod and I covered this in metal plates not the best work but I think it will serve its purpose on top of that I put a window plate and uh, I cut into the panel and screwed it so that it uh, will keep a seal against water coming onto the panel here. On the sides in the front I couldn't have a metal plate going down like on the sides because this will actually move inwards with the roof so I had to settle for a plate just sticking out and you have a gap underneath. I finished the paneling with a small piece here and I also finished the corners exactly as the, uh, the back side. I think this worked out fine. Maybe I could have done a better job here but this will keep the rain out for the sides and this will move and this will keep the rain out from above and I don't think any rain will escape the overhang and make its way in here. I'm contemplating installing some kind of brush or rubber or something that can be uh, below the plate and still not obstruct the roof when it's moving. The same on this side, corners and the right side here and on the back. I've also added some latex filling here that I'm going to paint grey when it's set. And I think that basically concludes the outer shell of my observatory.
finally I have completed the installation of the interior. I have mounted some OSB boards all around the interior and also made preparations for future installations of electronics and cabling. Please note that all electric installations will be done by an electrician and you should check out the local regulations in your country before attempting to install high power current products yourself. OSB on all sides. I tried to dress up the motor installation as best I could. I'm going to finish off the installation of the cover here and do uh, uh, let an uh, electrician do a permanent installation of the motor. And here you see conduits for cabling for control, electronics, relays, USB cables and everything else needed. On this wall I have a category 6 network cable and I'm going to mount a web camera or IP security camera over there connected to my garage and powered through power over ethernet. And I have a box here with cables uh, running in the ground over to my garage over there and inside the wall and those will be installed also by an electrician. Thank you so much for watching this video and please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you're not already doing so and like my content and until the next video I wish you have some clear skies.